Thank you, Massimo. Hello to everyone. So, as uh, said uh, Professor De Marchi, uh, this is uh, like uh, um, a shared uh, presentation because a lot of people, of students, uh, master's degree students, uh, uh, professional master students, worked on uh, and is working on uh, the activities on the, um, in the Climate Justice Center and uh, uh, develop the different activities uh, and create different output. Uh, I don't want to um, call uh, uh, this uh, like final output because, uh, as Professor De Marchi mentioned before, previously, um, we are a research group that uh, since uh, many years uh, has been working on these uh, topics. Okay, so um, we uh, then focus these topics in the center, but we will uh, we want to go on. Uh, with these activities and uh, the production of the output uh, for, I hope, <laughs> many years. So in this case, my pres in our presentation, I will focus on the research activities and the didactic and literacy activities, mainly uh, related to oil and gas uh, relation interaction with biocultural diversity and the geographical criteria and the mapping of best practices as a research activity. And uh, on the two MOOCs, I, um, the massive online open courses that uh, we prepared in these years. Okay, so uh, all these. Uh, well, uh, I started with the um, geo platform um, set up by the center, the Shamone Center of Excellence in Climate Justice geo platform, where um, that is one of the two main windows uh, of the center, because the first one is the. Um, website mentioned by Eduardo, but we have also set up this uh, platform that is in develop in continuous development. And in this platform, we want to share uh, all data, maps, uh, and uh, so on, uh, all the production of our center. Moreover, this is a very interesting platform because it's based on uh, uh, open uh, source uh, um, software. And this uh, platform is very interesting, and we choose this because uh, uh, people, uh, users, uh, can use this platform to share their own data, create uh, their own map uh, using the spatial data and so on available uh, inside the platform, can share documents. Uh, and uh, so we, we would like to create this like uh, uh, shared platform open to everyone, okay? not only to see the uh, results of the center, but also as a space uh, of uh, sharing knowledge about climate change and climate issues. Okay? And this is an example of, uh, for example, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, one of the output, the uh, continuous output is the production, the, find, the, the search, the data mining, and the analysis of uh, uh, spatial data uh, um, about uh, uh, oil and gas activities, project, and so on, and their interaction and um, relationship with biocultural diversity. So, for example, this is uh, a map that we uh, recently uh, prepared for the platform, where you can see for UK uh, all the elements that we found concerning oil and gas, and then the relationship with, uh, in this case, um, uh, protected areas, but it's not the only one. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, we analyzed the different uh, places in the world, like Ecuador uh, or the world Amazon, uh, Italy, and so on. And so this activity will go on, I hope, for uh, the next years. And uh, in this case, for example, this, pla this uh, um, map and the data mining and the analysis was carried uh, out by Daniele Vezzelli in his uh, uh, master degree thesis, uh, um, where he worked mainly on this idea uh, of the, um, to find, to collect, to share geographical criteria to, um, to, in, uh, to find, um, to define a vulnerable carbon area. So uh, areas where oil activities should stop, be stopped or where not to, um, to um, take fossil fuels underground, so to leave fossil fuel underground uh, for a right uh, and the just phasing out. So I leave the um, floor to Daniel Vezzelli because uh, this is uh, uh, mainly his uh, master degree thesis activity. So I think it's important uh, to, um, to leave, uh, to listen uh, his words, please, Daniele. 
Thank you, thank you, Daniele. Thank you for uh, introducing me. Thank you for the introduction. So I will briefly introduce this part of the research of the center uh, that we are conducting. It's a work in progress. And I will start from uh, two assumptions. Uh, the first uh, is that uh, an equitable and fair phase out of fossil fuels cannot be achieved in the short term, but with a, a gradual and uh, managed pathway that will consider not only economic efficiency, but also social and environmental aspects. Um, the second is that uh, we live uh, in a world with uh, a limited carbon budget. So there is a need to identify and uh, operationalize uh, criteria uh, in order to develop uh, between countries and within countries analysis. And these uh, analysis uh, we allow, will uh, allow us to rank countries and or areas inside countries on the basis of the efforts that these countries or these areas are required to deliver to achieve uh, an equitable transition. Uh, in other words, we are trying to uh, answer uh, several questions. Um, for example, which countries are expected to leave the largest part of their reserves in the ground? Or, for example, which countries are expected to transition first? And then uh, to within country scale, uh, which areas uh, uh, should transition first? Uh, what uh, we intend to do is to prepare an online survey in order to identify th this criteria and weigh their importance uh, uh, in a participative way. Uh, based on the people perception and opinion. And uh, once identified, this criteria will be operationalized uh, by developing multi-criteria analysis, both at between country and within country scale. And the resulting scenarios uh, will uh, help us uh, to foster and support the debate on climate justice but also uh, they will allow us to uh, just visualize uh, the efforts that the countries or areas are required to deliver in, in order to achieve uh, a just uh, phase out uh, of fossil fuels and a just transition. Uh, that's all. Uh, so thank you very much for attention. And uh, I give uh, again the floor to Daniela. Thank you, uh, Daniele. And um, so this is, for example, this is one of the first attempt to is a publication uh, that we made uh, at the end of 2000, uh, 2022 about uh, a simulation of multi-criteria analysis uh, for Ecuador, where we can see that, uh, uh, for example, EL block 43 is a very important block uh, that should uh, stay untapped because uh, um, together with all the blocks uh, around uh, Yasuni and uh, um, res Biosphere Reserve and around the, uh, the intangible zone for indigenous um, people, okay? Because uh, here, okay, there are there is a maybe a huge amount of uh, uh, fossil fuels underground, but the uh, biodiversity, the cultural diversity, is so huge. Uh, is uh, that uh, um, we should stay, the reserve should stay untapped. This is, uh, of course, uh, multi criteria analysis let us uh, to combine uh, different uh, uh, kind of criteria, geographical criteria, climate justice, uh, economical criteria, and so on. And this is the work that we are carrying out uh, uh, with this uh, uh, work and, and the criteria that could be shared, could be. Um, prepared by different people and weighted by different uh, actors, different stakeholders. Uh, another um, activity that's, uh, that we are carrying out uh, is this, the mapping uh, uh, of best practices, i.e. Uh, different uh, best um, projects, best uh, initiative that can uh, uh, concerning uh, climate justice uh, and uh, environmental justice also. We, carry, uh, we are carrying out this because uh, we think that is important. Okay, we can set, uh, when we can decide where not to, um, to take oil underground, but we have also, uh, we need also um, alternatives. We need also project, alternative projects for these areas. 
So we uh, thought to uh, map uh, best practice around the world using uh, um, a form, online form, and uh, uh, this my best practice form in different languages. Okay, shared by uh, with the um, with the Geo platform, and then uh, here create maps uh, that uh, uh, where we uh, put all uh, after a after um, uh, the erasing of the duplicate and so on. We would like to share with everyone these uh, uh, best practices as a sort of map of a worldwide map for uh, where people can. Uh, uh, see and can uh, consult uh, this kind of practices, okay? And uh, uh, um, last but not least, or least but not last, I don't remember, this is the MOOC, okay? This is the uh, more uh, didactic or uh, um, activity that we carried out uh, in uh, this last uh, uh, or less two years. So the preparation of two uh, massive online open courses for everyone, so free and open to everyone. One more related about climate change and adaptation in ecosystem societies, and the other one uh, on GIS, GIS science, GIS science for climate justice. And uh, the idea here is to improve spatial climate change and climate justice literacy uh, of citizens, so to um, give uh, tools, instruments, uh, and uh, didactic uh, um, material for all citizens that want to improve uh, uh, this kind of literacy, okay? So we prepare two, um, these are in Italian, uh, at the moment are in Italian because they are for people uh, living here in uh, our country. And uh, the first one is uh, dedicated to, um, to climate change, uh, to adaptation, to, um, different mechanism of adaptation to of, uh, mitigation and also uh, on the climate justice concept. And the second one is dedicated to tools that uh, can help us to, um, to carry out project concerning climate justice. And the, mainly the second one, this uh, mock MOOC on climate justice, on G science for climate justice, was developed so the, the face and the voice that will uh, listen, um, you will hear in this uh, MOOC is of Christina Tapp. So I leave the, spray, the place uh, on uh, the floor on to, to Christina Tapp. Please. Thank, thank you, Daniele. Um, okay, let me guide you through the structure of this mock. Uh, the mock was stored in five modules, uh, plus one module uh, that contains the introduction of the main topic related to climate justice and, and explain uh, uh, how to use in the best way this mock. Uh, from module one, one to five, we have the core of the mock. Um, that uh, each module uh, was sold uh, independently from, from the other, but the order uh, will drive uh, will, yeah will, will drive the students uh, step by step through the process that they need to carry out when creating maps. Uh, in particular, module uh, one and two try to answer to the question uh, where how can I collect data in a participatory way. Uh, or uh, uh, where do uh, I find data that I'm not able to collect in the field? Um, uh, then module three uh, explain how to store data and how to create uh, interactive maps that can be uh, shared online uh, through the climate justice atlas that, uh, that is built on a GeoNode platform. Uh, then model four explain how to create maps using Google Earth Pro. And the uh, last model, the practical model, uh, the model five uh, explain uh, some tools to create story maps in order to use the communicative power of maps to uh, give voice and strength, strengthen our, the narration of projects and fights promoted by um, citizens and uh, civil, uh, uh, civil uh, association. Um, the last module, module six, uh, is more theoretical and contains a collection of uh, uh, materials uh, as, such as books, uh, movies and documentaries that helps to reflect on the main topic of climate justice. Um, each module uh, is structured in the same way. At the beginning, there is a graphical abstract that resumes uh, uh, the main content of the modules, uh, main skills developed, uh, and the uh, tools explained. 
And then there is uh, the case studies uh, where uh, students are asked to solve a um, real life uh, challenge. Um, and then there are videos that uh, explain the tools that uh, they need to, to um, uh, employ and, and uh, use to, to solve uh, the case studies. Uh, each, uh, each video comes with a PDF that resumes the content of the, of the video. And uh, at the end of the model, there is, uh, in some cases, the, there are supplementary materials that are links uh, to, uh, to, uh, to do more in-depth analysis uh, related to the tools explained it in the model or to other uh, instruments and platform that can be used to, um, to, to do the same processes. Uh, in, in, if the students want to, to receive a certification they, uh, at the end of each, each model, they have to complete the final test. Um, Thank you. Thank you, Christina. And so, um, really, we received uh, a lot of uh, a huge number of uh, unexpected requests uh, for mainly for the mock on uh, science and for climate justice. So we um, decided to um, switch the mock in two platforms. One, uh, um, the, the Moodle platform of Padua University, uh, that is uh, already. Um, Operative and uh, where people of uh, Union Padua University students can uh, uh, enjoy the mock, can uh, uh, join the mock and enjoy and enjoy the mock. And uh, uh, I hope uh, available soon. Uh, we um, we will put will uh, upload the the mock on Edu Open, and that is another uh, Italian platform for mock because uh, it is uh, easier for uh, every user to join the mock uh, and uh, to obtain uh, and then to, um, to follow the mock and then to obtain the certificate. So this is a, a, a platform especially set up for mock. So uh, we decide to put uh, our mock here because of uh, the, the huge amount of requests. And so it will be available soon. I, I will, we will communicate to everyone interested when uh, it will be uh, available, okay? And uh, grazie per l'attenzione, uh, this is all. Thank you.